What's up, Lockdown Legion? Welcome back to Nerds on Lockdown. I am Chris, as always, and today we're going to be doing another unboxing video. Um, now, as you guys know, um, I like going around to the thrift stores and, uh, you know, finding any kind of game-related items. And I found something um, a while ago that I haven't opened or checked out. Um, and, uh, of course, it's it's open already because I did find it secondhand. However, um, I haven't really checked it out. And I wanted to wait to be able to make a video to check it out um, with you guys. Um, and uh, it's kind of like a cheesy sort of novelty rip-off item. And um, that is the uh, My Arcade uh what is this uh game station wireless that's right guys wireless so you know revolutionary right um uh i guess this is by my arcade um i do have a couple of like uh uh what do you call it uh nes um classic wireless controllers to them um which work fairly well um uh but this thing says it has 300 built-in games um 2.4 gigahertz uh, wireless connection for the controllers I mean you know you know um, they, they splurge for the 2.4 um, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and unbox this and then um, and uh, check it out um, uh, do some gameplay on it and uh, just see what it's all about so uh, let's get to it all right so as you guys can see right here we have the My Arcade Game Station Wireless Plug and Play Game Console, two wireless controllers. I mean, you know. Um, and as, as far as I can see, there's nowhere else to plug in a wired controller if you wanted to, I guess. Um, 300 built in retro games. Um, let's flip it over. The back here, uh, we got, uh, it shows you everything you get, I guess, how to connect it to the TV. Uh, simply plug into your TV and start playing games. Uh, start playing any of the 300 preloaded retro games. Um, takes, uh, six AAA batteries. Uh, that's, uh, that's quite a lot. <laughs> and then the console, now, the, the um... I'd say the one kind of cool thing about this console, <laughs> if you want to call it a console, is uh, the fact that it, it'll it take batteries instead of uh, plugging it into um, a power source. So if you wanted to take it camping or, you know, anything like that, I guess. I, you know, I don't know how you would power your TV anyways, but, um, you know, something like that. Um, then on the sides here we have, it shows you, like, the game types. So, you know, like... I don't know if you guys can see that. There we go. And then, uh, yeah, some some artwork on the sides here. Um, anyways, let's let's uh, let's open it and take a look at it. Um, I did open it previously um, just to check out what the, what it looked like, um, and I did put batteries in it, everything. So uh, we do have the game station here. Um, it did come with uh it's it's got these sort of it you know you plug in the aux cable here 3.5 millimeter jack to uh audio video cable um mono not stereo unfortunately um we have our two wireless controllers one here these are tiny as you can see <laughs> in my hand um but they have that sort of uh, rubberized texture feel to them. And uh, here's the other one. It's player two. And then we have our console itself. I did put batteries in this already. So if I turned it on, you'll see it turn red there. Turn it off. That's, you know, without putting it. Um, in the back, we have a, a DC uh, plug-in. AV and our on and off switch. I'm guessing this is where the RF uh, reader is in here for the controllers. And then we have our toilet paper manual right here. Uh, I don't think we need to worry about this. This is all 
pretty self-explanatory. So let's go ahead and uh, move that aside. And uh, let's go ahead and see uh, what's on this thing, shall we? All right, guys, so we're in the uh, main menu of the 301 uh, My Arcade Game Station uh, menu here. And um, yeah, uh, <laughs> Uh, we got our uh, our wireless controller, our little mini controller here, and uh, we're going to go through these games and check them out. Obviously, we're not going to go through all of them. It would take me all day, but um, we'll, we'll go through some, you know, ones that we, you know, kind of, uh, or I personally think might be funny. Who knows? But anyways, uh, let's go through the menu real fast just to kind of get it. Now, there is no settings. There is no anything like that. We have a select to start, A, B, X, Y, and D-pad and uh, that, that's pretty much it. So, as you can see, uh, we're kind of going through these. Honestly, not too bad on the lag, but I am right next to the uh, console itself, so I wonder what this would do across the room. Um, anyways, so we have curly monkeys. Um, I don't think any of these are gonna be any kind of first uh, uh, AAA titles or, or, you know, first party titles or even third party titles at this point. Um, I think this is meant for a uh, younger audience, obviously. Um, but uh, I think it's, it's, it's kind of a cool, uh, you know, <laughs> little retro thing to kind of mess around with. So, um, go over to our next, you just press right to go to the next 10, I guess. Um, we have some more uh, curly monkeys here. I don't know if it's the same game or not. We have some more here. Um, King. I'm, I'm guessing King Kong, maybe. Um, horse racing, yeah. Uh, Skywing. Let's check that out. Okay, cool. Uh, Sky Dreamer, yeah. So these do look like they're they're different games. I mean, it doesn't look like it's the same game over and over and over again, like we see with a lot of these. Um, <laughs> jumping kid, <laughs> jumping wield, knock it. I mean, yeah, these are these are some uh, AAA games here, folks. This this one almost looks like uh like uh, uh, uh what's that game? Uh, Rainbow Island, almost uh, in in kind of that vein. So I'm just gonna go real fast. I just want to see if there are indeed 300 games in here. Um, let's go through the menu. I mean, some of these names are great. <laughs> Shrew Mouse. <laughs> uh, we're almost to the 300, guys. Uh, yeah, I mean, 300, our last one's F22. So, um, let's go back to uh, Curly Monkeys and let's check that out. Let's see, uh, let's see. This is just the first game on here. We're going to hit A. Or I guess A doesn't work to get in. What is this? We start? Start. Oh, man. Look at that. All right, let's check out this AAA title here. Curly Monkeys 2. I guess I should have started with the first one because I don't know what the storyline is, right? Who knows? <laughs> okay, so. Uh, let's see. Oh, wow, okay. Throwing bananas. Throwing bananas. Okay. I'm gonna double jump in. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Something. Something there. Oh. oh, the snail got me. Down. Pressing down. I have no idea, guys. I don't know what this does. Alright, well, hey, you know, maybe it's just telling me that things are going to be falling down. It's the only thing I can think of. Honestly, it's not too bad of game. It's not very laggy at all, which is, which is great. 
I mean, I've had worse, I've played worse platformers, I guess you can say. Right? Like... Oh no! <laughs> okay, so, um, let's see. How do I get back to the menu here? Okay, so, you just hit reset to get back to the menu. Um, cut fruit. Um, just because I want to see what the cut fruit is. Okay. Uh, interesting. Okay, so, I'm literally cutting fruit. Okay. So it's Fruit Ninja, but with an actual ninja in it. Alright. <laughs> what else you guys want to see? Um, let's check out, uh... uh let's check out horse racing. Um, okay. Oh, that's me. Okay, I fell. I'm literally... Okay, all I'm doing is jumping with this horse. That's that's all the game is, I guess. Alright. Cool. <laughs> On to the next. We got some checkers. We got some racing fighter. Um, frontal fire. <laughs> uh, swimming. Uh, fateful battle. Dominoes. Distinction? And let's try Skywing. Let's check out Skywing. This might be like a 1942 ripoff, 1943 ripoff. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh. Use my bombs already. Oh, no. Alright, yeah. So 1942, 19, yeah, you know, ripoff, whatever. Uh, let's try. Fateful Battle. This looks like another one of those 1942 ripoffs. Oh, no, it isn't. Okay, so this is this is interesting. So you're on a. This is okay. Now there's some lag there. Okay, so that's that was interesting. Oh, Sky Dreamer. Okay, so there was one more I wanted to check out, guys, just because I thought uh, it, it, it kind of looked like Rainbow Islands, and I kind of wanted to see. There it is. Okay, so Speed Man. So the last one we're checking out here. Um, and it, it, if there's any more you guys saw on here that you wanted me to check out, um, I'll do another video on these. Um, and uh, to check them out. And just let me know in the comments. Uh, you, oh, okay. Uh, no, this isn't like a rainbow. Island at all. Okay, so all right, I yeah. <laughs> Anyways, let me guys uh, let me know what you guys think about this uh, <laughs> this system and uh, what you guys. Uh, what you guys got from it, I guess. Um, I don't find myself probably playing this in the future very much, but uh, I like to do these little quirky kind of, uh, you know, uh, knockoff uh, things. I think they're pretty fun to uh, play around with and uh, uh, check out. Um, but anyways, um, thanks for watching, guys, as always. And uh, don't forget... Uh, if you guys are new to the channel and uh, you guys like what you see um, as far as content, uh, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and uh, make sure uh, you guys like the video too. It really helps out a lot. We're really trying to grow the channel, uh, do some more gaming stuff here, and it'll help me, uh, you know what I mean, really uh, want to get uh, this content out to you guys as fast as possible. So um, that's it for another episode of uh, Nerds on Lockdown, and uh, until next time, we'll see you guys. Peace and stay safe out there.